Girls, uh, I suppose we should cheers to yeah. the time. <laughs> well, I wanted shots, go. not coffee. Yeah. 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 Shots would have gone down so much better, I guess. But at like, what time is it again? It would have been uh, way more maybe. truthful. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, cheers to that. Really great, r- great careers, you guys. Yeah. Well. I, I was thinking how weird it was that we all played the same World Juniors and mm. then within the within we've decided to all retire at the, the same, same, exactly same tournament. Yeah. At the yeah. same tournament. It doesn't no. feel that long. No. I remember all the older girls used to say, um, oh, mate, like, it flies by, it flies by. And I, when you're like 22, I'm thinking, nah. nah yeah, nah. and I caught myself saying that to someone yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, before, you know, you know before you know it. You're, you know, you're thinking you've got 10 British Opens ahead of you. Then you're thinking, well, I might only have three or four. And then you're thinking, uh-oh, this Uh-oh. is the last couple now. <laughs> yeah. And you, you sort yeah. of en- enjoy the pressure, but you, you can't when you're younger. Mm. You just have to go with it yeah, a little bit, don't you? Play. Yeah. So who was the, you were the first one to <laughs> yeah. retire or to yeah, announce yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, like, it was cool because uh, I had a bit more time. Uh, I think, like, when it was, like, in US Open in 2017, then I was kind of not feeling at my best and Liz just picked it up and said like, what do you really want to do with your squash? And that kind of like shook me up because I thought every year you I kept going. You, am I allowed yeah. to ask who you yeah. played? <laughs> oh, any, yeah, any. Um. Okay. Yeah, so long legs is back to say, did you, did, like there must have been a bad match. Or yeah, a, it was or my a, first time losing to any or... as well. And also, and I, and it was the best time obviously like yeah. because she beat me but at the same time it was I was also at a, a good low after that also and then I I just had to think about it because um I didn't I always kept going every year like yeah I'll play for another three four years was it a shock when Liz like put that thought yeah. into your head yeah. so it hadn't entered your head at that point really no I was like literally not feeling in the right place at moments so it comes and goes but at that moment when she asked that question, it just kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm still playing. Of course I'm going to play. You know? <laughs> and you then I went defensive, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And what then, are you trying to say? And then I just went, like, I should be playing for a while. And then she's like, no, but really think about it. Then I was like, okay. I? <laughs> I, went, I went by and like, obviously like was crying my eyes out because I was like, didn't know what, what was going mm. on. And then, and then I really started like, okay, I think I only have like two years from then on. But really, I could come to terms with the accepting retirement only like last year, like end of the year, like November, October, November. And that's how I had to like really put something together to get ready. How did you find it? Because obviously you announced it earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've still had to, not as long as Nick Matthew, for example, but <laughs> yeah. still, and I think Enough. you've done it really well. Yeah. But is it like, it was... honestly, is it like a bit of a pain having to, speak about it every single tournament or you, do you mind doing that or not because I have to actually, no, yeah you had to be the one that has to ask <laughs> oh, me the question like, oh, sorry Nicole I'm gonna ask you again you know? no I mean like I didn't think about it actually to be honest I just wanted to just play the British Open last match and I'm going like okay so, I'm yeah. done yeah. and I wanted to do that from the very beginning but when I told my friends they just went no you can't yeah. can't just do that you have I think people want to watch you play a little bit well, or... I said to you at breakfast the yeah. other day I was like if you did that I think everyone the yeah. squash world would kind of be pretty gutted and everyone would be like well, we didn't get to say goodbye <laughs> so yeah. I think you've done it I think yeah, yeah good yeah I, I, I thought okay I didn't think it didn't come across my mind because I just wanted to tell people at the end and but at, at the same time, it was a good relief because when I told people and when I played this last few tournaments, it was just a kind of like a load off. Yeah. And people know that I'm going to retire. So I was it's quite not, happy mm-hmm. just playing and them knowing and sharing and, yeah. you know, the journey and how I got to that point and now what I'm going to do next. And I'm sure you all had the same, like, situation. Like, when did you kind of, like, think about it? Like, well, I didn't have as many sponsors and planning and stuff like that. So. <laughs> No, but I mean, still in terms of the time, you know, you've been on the tour, so the same time as all all three of us were there at the same time. So all the people you've been uh, met and like the tournaments too, you know, like. Yeah. um, um, It's sort of like that first realisation, I think. Yeah, mine mine, mine was a few years ago, really. (laughs) We've all had different careers, but my form Mm. obviously dropped quite a lot a few years ago. Um, Mm. But... I still wanted to carry on and 
try and get to some sort of level that I was kind of happy with or at least enjoy mm. playing squash. And it's how I sort of found it a little bit hard knowing that not even being actually phys- like verbally told it, but I found it hard or have found it hard knowing that I feel like a lot of people are kind of, why is Jenny still playing or like, why mm. doesn't she retire kind of thing? Um, so I've been thinking about it for a while. I kind of, yeah, always had it in the back of my mind for the past year that, mm. yeah, I'll just see how I get on when I get back from the hip operation, but likely scenario is I'm not going to be playing at the level that I would like to be playing. And uh, I find it quite hard to just enjoy it, like Rachel someone just loves playing. And I yeah. love squash, but I just think I'm maybe too competitive. I can't just... Oh yeah, I'm really enjoying losing first round. At, you know, like every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so for me, again, when I when I said it, I wasn't going to say anything until after the British Open. Yeah. Uh, but then again, similar thing. People said you should. Yeah. You, know, you should announce it or whatever. Um, and it is a feel like for me, it felt like a bit of a weight off my shoulders mm. a bit. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah, and I think I was yeah, I think later. I was similar. Like, well, we'd had a we've had a few chats, haven't we, over the last season? Probably Commonwealth Games on the bus. Even yeah. we had one, didn't we? You were like, oh, I'm not really sure, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess similar, similar to you, like knowing it was on the cards and yeah. coming, but not really quite sure when. Yeah. Um, it wasn't just, um, it wasn't like I've never had a bad day, but when I'd had a bad day in the past, I'd always been able to somehow find a way to still win or somehow it'd be mm. really tight and lose in five or get myself over the line and not play brilliantly. But there was just starting to be days where I'd just have a really bad day and I didn't quite know why. And so mm. similar to you, like not not really that happy about losing to people who I who in, in the past I know that I would have beaten or at least it's not even the losing, it's the performance, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. knowing that you've put, uh, if I put in a good performance and That's someone right, beats me, yeah. I'll shake it's the hand and go, yeah. well done. Yeah. But when you were just turning up, putting the training in, putting the hard work in and then having a bad day, yeah. it was getting to me a little bit and and then didn't really start the season brilliantly and was going to finish at Christmas and then thought, oh, but you know, the world's biggest ever world championships, yeah, yeah. 500,000, let's yeah. like just try and give it a push for that and I started yeah. working with Nick and then... I lost to Annie. <laughs> Sorry, Annie. Annie. Um, she was obviously playing great. Yeah, anyway. exactly. Yeah, exactly. She was. She has been, and that's why it's just credit to her that she. Uh, the first time I lost her actually yeah. was a few years ago in uh, at the US Open. Yeah. I lost three one. I think it was the first time. And DP was there, and it was a bit. I don't know what it is about. I mean, Annie's really she's good. She's a good, great player. I think she makes you feel terrible when you lose to And DP was saying, so it can yeah. be quite negative, like, you know, your, mo- your movement's just not quite... I was like, well, she's <laughs> she fucking flexing. <laughs> are you trying to get that deadly. backhand drop? Yeah, like, she's deadly. deadly and you have to be very, like, set yeah. to play yeah. her. And I've always been yeah. very set, but when you're not, it, it feels <laughs> then like... Then you start thinking, well, maybe yeah. I'm really slow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I am birdsing But yeah, no, she, yeah, okay. But she, but has, she But honestly, like, she in Chicago play, yeah. that day, she played great. Yeah. And, yeah, I, she and she it was... A, it was yeah. 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 Well. And it was another day where I just thought the old me would have found a way to, to nick a game up, yeah. or get in contention. Mm. And I didn't. I lost 3-0 and I was mm. a bit I was like, wow, okay. And I think I would already been thinking probably the end of the season, but a few people had said, you're still top 10. You've, you've got more in you. Mm. You could probably go for another season. And but you doubt yourself. And I then... think it's a bit of a knock-on effect. So once you start, I mean, for me, it happened way years ago before you guys, but it's a knock-on effect. Like if... Like for you, especially, it's like you lost what one match. You having a bad season was losing two matches in an entire season. Mm. But once I don't want to say it, but yeah. So like whenever it happened, you know, Raneem got to world number one. Yeah. Over the last couple of years, for you, like for us, you've sort of always been. You're the almost invincible one, and you're the kind of we're trying to constantly trying to beat you and for the younger players once they've seen you lose a few times yeah to say it it's yeah. kind of a knock-on effect that it doesn't become as big a deal yeah to, to just, beat you which yeah. makes it a lot harder for you you start it's all di- all different levels you start doubting yourself of the course. other girls see oh whoever is, is actually beatable well, she beat her then well i could probably beat her yeah yeah, yeah. so it's very hard isn't it once you for drop sure. like even 10 percent 
yeah they go up and it just becomes harder. harder yeah i think because of the i think when you are you don't actually recognize it so being at that position i work so we all work so hard to get there and stay there and be consistent but it takes out so much of you and you don't actually understand we don't fully actually recognize ourselves how much it has taken a toll like to be at the top where you were and yourself like to sustain that is hard so how to like keep on to it not everyone would understand what you have done and what you have done so it's just like the process after when it's not going your way it gets tougher so anything lower than one or two even if it's just one mm. one step one spot it's it's like a for me it's like a failure in some way so i was probably like beating myself up more and the fact that anything lower than one was wrong. You've obviously been ridiculously um, consistent. Did that always come from yourself? You know, when you saying you want, you had to win and anything works, the number one was a failure. Was that just because you were, since, since you were little, you were always Winning. number one? <laughs> yeah. Is that, do you think, like you're just so driven? That, that was, was that from, that you like that? You I like think that, that was what it was, um, but uh, I because I just played and I enjoyed it and I won. But then, when it came to that point where you were used to being there, then I think I just struggled with that uh, for some time. But uh, I didn't I fully understood. I just knew I had to work harder, train harder, and then and and it will I will get there. But I think uh, it was just the. But then I think at that time my mentally and everything emotionally I was changing yeah. I wasn't and consistency wasn't gonna be just the same but I expected to do the same so yeah so yeah so um, but I, I learned from a lot and coming full circle and the fact that you know actually I didn't quite appreciate what I was doing that's that's the bottom line is I was beating myself up but not appreciating how hard it was to play you girls to sustain that you all were pushing me true and true in every every way and that was hard that was hard to sustain i i had to always be ready when i step on court with you or yourself yeah but i don't think that you can um i don't think you can necessarily appreciate what you're doing while you're still playing playing. like everyone always says don't they at the end of your career or you you know you've done amazing you should be able to appreciate it but if you stop and appreciate for a second what you're achieving at the time then it's the end of the achieving I I think because I remember you know winning some tournaments and just be just was just literally thinking of the next tournament and Danny would try say you know let's go for dinner and have a drink and Mm -hmm. I might have one and be like I'm tired and I've got you know I want to have a rest day tomorrow and I want to recover and then I want to be on to the next thing and it was funny because once I'd pretty much decided that I was probably going to finish at the end of this season and um, I hadn't w- w- been winning as much as I'd want to in terms of titles, when I went to Monte Carlo, yeah. I said to Danny, when I, when I won it, I was like, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, really yeah. I remember, yeah, it. Exactly. And it was so different. And it's yeah. so nice to just win a tournament there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And I think a couple of the girls were like, oh, it's so strong for, like, why is Laura... Why is Laura? In it. And I was, and I said to Rachel, I was like, because she wants to win a tournament. She's not yeah. won a tournament for ages. Like yeah. it's a nice, yeah, feeling. It, it, was it, it was just that it was just that you. Matches. It wasn't just that. It was sort of that I knew that I was finishing probably at some point at that time in mm. in December. I knew I was finishing within within the year, mm. and I just thought wouldn't it be actually, you know, really nice to go, try and win it and actually appreciate a win. And I was so, I almost that whole week felt really appreciative of the whole thing. And and that's what I haven't (laughs) done my whole career really. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's what comes now for like all of us and stuff. But I think it's, I think it's really important to say that, that you don't, that people say to you all the time, you're doing brilliantly, enjoy it and all this, but you actually can't. And I think if you try to, um, try to enjoy it at the time it's happening and it'll just destroy you in a totally different way. I started dropping down the rankings a few years ago. Everything became too much of a big deal. So you yeah. go, go from yeah. like making at least quarters, semis of every mm. tournament, a couple, two tournaments a month maybe, just yeah. another flight, another three, four matches, yeah. um, come back for a couple of weeks at home training. It's just a constant routine. Once you, yeah. once you start playing once you're not playing as well and you're losing in the second or you're only playing two matches mm-hmm. at a tournament yeah, like, and then you, you don't again you don't realize at the time when you're winning and you're playing you're not thinking oh 
oh, I'm playing three matches or four matches. This yeah, time. no. You're just doing it. You don't yeah. never stop, do you? You no. just. Yeah. But when that does stop, I found it hard because I'm like, God, I don't even play as much. I'm missing. I'm really, I'm yeah. really missing just You're getting, getting that practicing practicing every you day. Well. Yeah. So then you get to a first or a second round. And it's like you want to win too much. Too much, right? yeah. I want to win too much so I can play again exactly. tomorrow. And then you're overthinking it. Whereas when you're in the middle of playing well, you just go. Yeah. Winning a match isn't that big a deal, like especially the first yeah. two. Obviously, semis, quarters, even semis, fine. It's a big deal. Mm. But usually, the first couple of rounds, it's just you know something it. very sort of not bad, but something would have to go quite wrong for you to <laughs> lose. But generally, deep down, you have that without having to think about it. It's just that in inner confidence or whatever it is, habit. I think it's a habit of just mm-hmm. churning out the win if you have to in the early rounds. But and I when think, you lose yeah. that, it's, very, it's difficult. Do but how many know. World Juniors do you all play? Two. Two. Oh, yeah, two. I think I lost you three times in total in those two <laughs> rounds. So the World Juniors <laughs> fell like Every a bit wrong years. for me because uh, I played one. Um, and it, and I was seventeen, so I didn't because it was yeah. every two years. I didn't play the yeah. one. Well, you played one, and there was a Malaysia two years, one. Seventeen, yeah, and then the fi- I was fifteen for mm. the one in Bel. Was it Belgium? Belgium, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. too young for that, but I went and I won the plate, pri- like with hey. my mum and dad, oh. like whatever, <laughs> privately away from England. <laughs> and then this, I was seventeen, and then when I would have been that, na- when when I would have been eighteen, it was the boys, and then nineteen, yes, yes. we were. Yeah, we they've aged got it out. easy these days. Every yeah, I know. Year, I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah. So I lost quarter final to to you in Penang. Yeah, Penang. Mm. Like the juniors, I like, I always had to either play Laura, like no, Laura Jean Langton, mm. <laughs> in the quarters, and then play Jen in the semi or finals or like, and then it was a oh, mid. No, yeah. But the big one was like the under fourteens, and I was in twelve, and I met you in the semis. Yeah. And no one, no one really knew who this Malaysian girl was, and then including me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did because I'd yeah. seen we'd played at the Scottish. The Sco- you played this, yeah. First time I played you was Scottish Junior Open, but not, but after. How do you even remember no. this? I no, think the I've first time we played was Scottish Junior Open. Okay, yeah. And 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 you were like your leg was thinner <laughs> than this table. Though. Yeah. Um, and ah like, yes yes because we mess quit. mess around in the the like the court with the bags and like we're just yeah, playing I think, yeah. yeah so I think you beat well you definitely beat me but I don't know if it was three love or three one and then we played in the British in the juniors. British juniors like a week later yeah, yeah. and I was number one seed I think yeah. and you were like five to eight and I'm thinking Shit, I, I just play. played her a few days ago there's no way <laughs> Nicole's bad Nicole right. and David Nicole, yeah, Nicole, yeah. And, David. <laughs> Nicole and David Nicole and David called you that up until about yeah. three Nicole, or four yeah. years ago I think really? so yeah. recently yeah. just stopped didn't he yeah. Yeah. Nicole and David Nicole and yeah. David <laughs> And then we played, and I, I think we played in the final. Then my, the final? No, the semis. semis. And then uh, my dad always has that the vi- video. video, and she always he always comes up to you and like, oh yeah, I still have the video. Yeah. And now we don't have that video. Oh. But but then um, then I played Amina Halal in the yes, finals. Yes, Amina, Amina back then, yeah. <laughs> I think every quarterfinals at every ju- British junior age group, I played you in the quarters. Did you? Yeah. Everything is, every time it's her, I'm like, oh. I definitely and lost to tough. Manuela Zender a few times, though. Ah, Manuela yeah. Zender, yeah. She, she was, was tough. She yeah. was really well, tough. Well, you're a year younger, so yeah, I think yeah. you and Al. I'm an age group but well, below, geez, so it just it depended. But you, we are the same age, so. But we were, oh, yeah, we are same actually, age. Yeah. But that's why we always We never play. played in British juniors, so there must be a... No, because that was... Did you play an age group up then? British juniors? Yeah, uh, it was eight months under, younger than me. Under fourteens, under sixteens, under then after it changed 19s. to under seventeen, not nineteens. So there's a big gap under sixteens to under nineteens, which yeah. is when we played. So we all probably ended up. Yeah, playing each other at the end. So. Yeah, <laughs> I remember, I remember uh, when we went to Penang for the World Juniors mm. and we were up at uh, the beach, Batu Fringi, yeah, yeah. at the night markets, which we loved. Um, and then I think we got recognised as like the junior England squash team and, oh, like, yeah. and they're like Nicole David, Nicole David <laughs> it's just crazy like from the outside so that must mm. be so much the pressure yeah or is that part of the reason you moved to Holland oh, yeah I, I think just get, after the world juniors it. it was huge that one winning in the world juniors in Penang actually I didn't realise but I saw the re- my video recently and it was like I was like blobbering beating mm. Omnia after winning the world title, but you all were expected to win, like that sort of thing. And I never knew how much pressure I was on at seventeen. 
uh, world juniors. But then when it comes to like at that point where you won five like five world titles. Um, at that time, <laughs> uh, after two thousand twelve, yeah, after six or so, yeah, then they you just they just say like, oh, it's for you, it's so you like should win, yeah, you, gonna, you should just win. win. So, so yeah, I think I I know that pressure got to me, Pinang, but no doubt Shubini was a playing great squash at the time, like free flow and yeah. Um, but no, it, but those things actually make me so much better because after that I. I had a good run two thousand fourteen with Com Games and yeah, um, and Asian Games and then World Teams we did well and then by the time we played I played the Worlds in uh, Cairo with uh, Ranim I just I think I just yeah. shut down. <laughs> I, yeah. I think after that yeah, I kind of just she shut had down. a lot of pressure on her at, at that one I guess exactly so and I and to come back and to win that one that one yeah, took that a lot massive. took a lot out of me and I think I kind of never recovered much from that. <laughs> I actually thought it would be Renim that might never recover. Yeah. She bounced straight back, yeah. didn't she? That was like one of the most impressive things that yeah. um, that I've seen as well. Like the way that she just somehow regrouped from that because that yeah, can destroy amazing. someone. In yeah. Penang, Renim was eleven, playing for the team, and that she can remember. I remember her hair. Yeah, I've got pictures of I think me. And Obviously, we're all yeah. competitors, yeah. And you were the hardest competitor and the biggest competitor. And I went and stayed with you uh, yeah, for a week, which I loved. Um, we had a really good time. And then, and then it's kind of like, but the, when you're one and two in the world, or you're, <laughs> it's like, can you do? Can you do that? Or yeah, should yeah, I yeah. have? Should I have maybe done bit, that? Would mm. you have said yes? Or I don't yeah. know, like. Is I think maybe like even I think probably in Egypt maybe it'll be also tricky like how so many of them there and then playing their own national yeah league as well together. I and, don't know why more players don't go. Like, yeah. can I come and stay for a week? Like, why yeah. aren't there more? If I was if, if it was me when I was twenty, I'd be on it trying yeah. to go to Egypt every yeah. other week kind of thing. Well, everyone used to come to England, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you go where it where you can improve yeah. yeah I came here when Sarah Fitz was here to train and then you were here yeah. too we, we were training I think we all went through Fitzy yeah, we Fitzy. Did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and Melbourne as well I was happy to get on court with, with her and Vicky Cartwell yeah. and I mean like that also really helped because you get the chance to feel what pressure is like when you're on court with Fitzy yeah. <laughs> and it's just like okay I want to do that just as well when I when I if I if I'm on tour and how how you want to be world champion and world number one that's how you do it so she was one of my first big top 10 players match in Munich was my first uh, like big Wispa event yeah and and uh, yeah, I got to sit next to all the top ten girls, and I was like, Ooh, <laughs> seventeen. What like with like Lelani and Fiona, yeah, God, Lelani, George, yeah, yeah, Linda, Linda Charman. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I time. remember looking. There's a picture of you in I think it's Hagada, mm. and it's from years ago, and oh. all those guys yeah. are there. And, and Cassie, with Grace, Granger, Cassie, and, yeah. Carol Granger, Owens, yeah. Granger, Lilani, all oh, Suzanne Horner, I think was even. I was in qualifying. It. I was qualifying those tournaments, and I think one tournament I didn't qualify. I lost. I can't remember who I lost. Maybe Vicky Bot, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pen. Oh, Pen. Yes, yeah. She's in the picture. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh yes, I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go to her gala one day. Yeah. But no, good memories. Yeah. yeah I know. We all were obviously squash has been all of our lives, lives yeah. the whole time. Um, but I just think, given the sustainability of your career and the, just the success of it, mm. I don't see was was there any room for anything else? No, there wasn't. Yeah. Like I, I was like I like Laura too. You know, we just kept so much the it's so structured. Like I knew. Like in two months, every day, my training, my training. Yeah, but sessions. I just copied you. <laughs> like, like I said to you the other day, and you were like, well, I just copied the people The people before, before me, like <laughs> not, Liz and everybody, yeah. like Sarah Fitz, they all had like so structured. Because I wasn't like, I was always patterned and coordinated and planned and stuff, but I was never quite um, the way that I was personality-wise on tour. And then, mm. you know, I sort of just 
So I saw how you did it, you brought a team and you kept yourself away and it gave you an edge because people didn't know who you were, what you were doing, mm. what you were getting up to, what you were like as a person. And I thought, Did you well, not see her spying on you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's like at the corner. <laughs> just, yeah. But I thought yeah. that I know on the on the river on the end of those that that show what mm. you were because obviously that's not who, who you are as a person because mm. I know that I've put that show on and I, that's not who I am as yeah, a person yeah. that you that's the show that you're giving to everyone that you know you I'm keeping team. yeah like I need my team because without my team I can't be alone on my own because who mm. wants to travel the world every tournament and eat dinner on their own and lunch yeah. on their own you just it's impossible you can't so your only option is to join in with the other girls which I think slightly weakens you if you for your success and I know for me and who I am for my personality mm. it gives them a little chink into your armor mm. and the only way to not do that is to is just, to like have your team around you so I just I didn't start off my career <laughs> that way but I saw yeah. that's what you were doing and thought well I'm gonna go down that route a little bit and yeah. I don't know did it or how did it I'm, look for you you obviously were a bit different to us and, yeah I mean for yeah. me I've I've and maybe this is why I wasn't as successful as you guys. I um, you are successful. Probably not <laughs> as well, not as much as you guys, but not as calculated, perhaps. Not mm. in a, that's not a negative word. Um, and I've never been as a person sort of that needy or mm. like I don't. For some reason, I don't even like the word team. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like obviously <laughs> yeah. everyone has a team, but for some reason, I don't like. That. I don't know if it's because I don't need, I don't feel like yeah, everyone should, yeah. should be my sort of, I don't like everything being about me and I'm not saying that that's what you're like or whatever. You just and, like, but I do attention. think that, I do think <laughs> well, you're you need, a different player as yeah, well to us, like you play in yeah. a freer way, like, yeah. you know, yeah. less restricted mm -hmm. and that's how you live your life as well, like you wouldn't have been able to probably... Do, I couldn't do it the way you've done it and you couldn't do it the way we've mm -hmm. always said that. We've kind of always been the opposite. Different players, <laughs> different styles and like you were, to, we all have three different styles too so like you, you needed what you needed to for yeah. that works for you and I think like for me like if I were to tell people now like or kids nowadays to f do what I did I would say like Please don't, <laughs> because like I mean, please be aware please, of what you're getting yourself yeah, yeah. into. Yeah, Please be aware of what you're getting yourself into, but create yourself, like create something that works for you. So mm -hmm. like, if it works, like if you see yeah. it and it works and it, it totally can keep you on track, then go for it. But mm. I can only share that my experience, and if they can see that it relates to them, fine. Do you have any regrets with? with that like it would you do it i know obviously a huge amount of success and if you changed anything it might not have had the success exactly. but knowing where you are now and looking back over all those years mm -hmm. um and where you stand now in terms of mental well-being perhaps mm -hmm. like life lived experiences yeah. that i think is cut significantly shorter on for for all athletes mm -hmm. um would you change anything would you sacrifice any of the success you had for a slightly better life slightly freer life like no, no. so therefore it's <laughs> no been regrets worth it. yeah, yeah i think i think i had to do that because i could su my character and who i am could sustain that but and and then what what happened after that as well i knew i had to go through what i had to go through to come to this point of yeah. being free and at peace and accepting and of what I've accomplished. Yeah, I think like, you can so, even tell like, since you've retired, definitely yeah. the last few months, like just around the tournaments. Yeah. And I feel like, I'm sure you've always enjoyed your career, but um, you look like you're at peace and you yeah. just, you, I don't know, you just got a different kind of persona. Yeah. And I guess that's the retirement, the sort of shackles are off. You don't have to put on that. I'm not saying that you put on that. Yeah, but, like, front, like, but it serious. is a bit like that. Yeah. But I, I think I was like, like yeah, I said to you the other day, I think yeah. you walk in and the first, for the first, as soon as you know, for me, probably around black ball time, mm. I've been different around events because I'm not looking at people going, I might have to beat you next season or I'm like <laughs> yeah. holding something in or yeah, yeah, I'm looking yeah. at you as if you're a competitor. Now it's to... sort of like, I actually find myself watching matches going, I reckon I could actually help you with that. Yeah, yeah, or like, yeah. I reckon I could, you know, yeah. I could give you a bit of advice on that because I think <laughs> yeah. deep down I just want to I want to help people and I want people to be successful and mm -hmm. you have so much knowledge of what you've done and that you want to try and pass it on 
Yeah, but just going back to the matches, I I have wanted to know what your best match was yeah, as well. Yeah, best match. Uh, Favorite probably, match? Or... Probably beating you because <laughs> <laughs> I never yeah. did hardly. Uh, best yeah. match, yeah. You beat me twice in a row. I beat you twice. In Please don't row. tell me that you had like twice oh, you're on one leg. For no, like two no, weeks. no, 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 no. <laughs> it, it Which, was uh, Carol Wymulen and Qatar, like. Yeah. So, so I, yeah. So I had a bit of a run. Yeah, Carol Wymulen. Beat you three, love. I don't yeah. really know how, um, <laughs> considering I'd never beaten you all those years. <laughs> was that the first ever win then? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Just, I, th- 2009, I think for me, it? it probably wasn't a big deal for you, but I literally played you in like, and it wasn't a bad thing, but I just obviously lost to you a lot. Um, you know, British juniors, world juniors when I was 16, world juniors when I was 18, <laughs> twice. Um <laughs> And then lots of other PS or whatever whisper, whatever it was back then. Um, mm. And then so to beat you, three love, and I think I must. Well, I did play really well, so yeah, that was did, a yeah. massive win. Just to um, know that I could actually do it, or that I just done it. It was just mm-hmm. like right. Even if I retire <laughs> tomorrow, at least I yeah. haven't. I don't have to listen to head to head, eighteen nil, <laughs> even like. 22-2 isn't great either, <laughs> but you know, and you just kind of like, so yeah, got that win, and then still had to play the next day, Yeah. Uh, beat Al in the final, then uh, Qatar, yeah, so yeah. I think, I can't remember what round, I think the semis, mm. I don't think, I, I didn't, it's definitely didn't five, play, five, yeah. yeah, I definitely didn't play as well, um, but I think because I'd beaten you a couple of weeks before, mm. I kind of, and beating you twice, no offence, was, um, yeah, yeah, it was, was massive, good. For me, so won that three two, and then again had to play the final, beat Rach three love, and then that took me to world number two. So I think yeah, that sec. I think the second time, actually, because I felt like a one can be a one off. Um, yeah. I think actually the hardest thing to do is actually beat someone twice in a row. Yeah. Particularly <laughs> yeah. not maybe at the very very top of the game, but mm. you know, it, I always say to younger players that if you if you beat or get close to a top player the first time you play them or you, you'll get their best level mm. the next time you play them mm. because they, no matter what you say, you switch on mentally, you're prepared for them, you put a proper plan together. And so mm. um, I think the very, very top people don't lose two times in a row to mm. anyone. But I yeah. mean, obviously it's it's easier to lose two times in a row to someone, world number two or world number yeah. one. So, yeah. mm. so last yes. tournament for all of us yeah. is... British Open in mm-hmm. Hull. How's it gonna go, do you reckon? It's... I don't know, but I think it'll be quite, I think it'll be fun. Uh, Who's you got? Do you know I don't draws? think it'll be fun. I think it'll go be a lot of tears after. If this, I don't know, like you've obviously announced the retirement a little Before. bit earlier than me, and this week, this week has been um, really emotional playing in Manchester and holding yeah. it all together. Um, What's your home too? Like, and, you yeah, know? and part of the reason I left it late was because I didn't want to, personally for me, sort of just be on the, I didn't want to be like talking about it all the time and that's just yeah. obviously everyone's individual preferences but mm. it, the downside of that was there was part of me that sort of thought I've announced it and now I, just, I don't actually want to play. I just want to <laughs> announce it and, and say, then go, yeah, 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 exactly. Now everyone's watching but at the end of the day whatever happens doesn't doesn't make or break your career. I just, I've yeah. trained hard and trained well up until this point and I, yeah. um, you know, I really just, I think for me I just want to put in a really good performance at the British mm. and you know, yeah. like like you've always said, if someone plays well and they, they beat you, you shake their hand. And mm-hmm. like similar to losing to Noor last night, you sort of feel like, well, um, I'm sad and I gave it everything that I've got when I was on court, but yeah. there's no reason to be, be crying your eyes out in a corner somewhere yeah. like you used to <laughs> because, no, exactly. because it's done, it's yeah. over. And yeah. you should be able to enjoy the fact that you fought really hard and you're not looking for how am I gonna not make that happen next time. Yeah. And that's where probably the enjoyment and relaxation can come. Yeah, I think it's the same for me too. Uh, I'm gonna um, just go in there and I think just savor the moments because like playing the British since I think mm-hmm. Birmingham in 2001, I think was my first British, so. I played Liz. You played Liz? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. DP really? always reminds me. Really? I, I, how old are you? I was about I was, 16. Yeah, I was, no, well, Birmingham was 2001, so I must oh, be. No, older than I was that, uh, yeah. 17, 18. 18. Yeah. 18. 
Yeah, yeah but I think I played Rebecca me. McCree or something, okay. and um, it was tough. <laughs> but since then to now, I think it's been yeah, it, it's nice to finish off with the British and yeah. Yeah, and it's just, a bigger even for you who you know isn't British. She, it's yeah. such a big event, and for us, yeah. it's being able to finish at home on home soil, yeah. isn't it? Mm. And you, yeah. how do you feel? Yeah, I don't. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, my preparation definitely could have been better. It's been hard doing this year <laughs> MCing and um, especially having had an operation. I kind of need to be doing stuff ev- every day, really. Mm. Um, but I also need to think of another career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the MCing hasn't doesn't help my squash, but it, you're doing great, same, though. <laughs> thanks. Um, but yeah, just just to play your last match. I don't know. I'm kind of a bit worried that. Because sometimes things just suddenly all hit me, and then uh, yeah, <laughs> will, yeah, I think well, it will. I, I think keep it, a lid on it for I so know, long. Yeah, like, I don't. Know, like, you're explode. so much better at getting everything out and <laughs> having your team to talk to, which I, which I do have. A, if I want one, I can have. A team <laughs> kind of yeah, you've got, you've got a lot just, of people that you can talk to, but it doesn't come as naturally. Yeah, it doesn't to you, come does as it? naturally mm. to me. So then, and so sometimes things can build up, and then something happens, and I'm just like, uh um, but no, I mean, yeah, playing in Hull, it's just nice to play. I just want to play all the time. And yeah. I just feel like for I, you as well. Yeah, oh, nice. Not played a lot lately, so yeah, so end of an era. It is weird though that yeah. the three of us have yeah, the same time. literally <laughs> like the same tournament. I guess it's an obvious tournament to stop at, but mm. it's kind of nice end of the season. Way, and it? I, it's just weird how you know you thought that it was two years ago, maybe it could have been last season. Yeah. For me, I was Christmas. still t- toying with the idea mm. of last Christmas or this Christmas or maybe yeah. one more season yeah. up until just not not being happy with not being in contention enough and yeah. there's for me there's no I don't want to I don't want to just be it's hard just playing one or two matches yeah. Yeah. I want to be playing three or four matches yeah. and I'm just not so yeah. it seems right mm-hmm. I'm excited to see where how we all go and I think it'll be fun yeah <laughs> what exciting we all get up times to. yeah I'm quite very happy to have some time to just not that you have squash in my mind <laughs> waking too. up in the morning and and then just and not, I, not yeah. feel like you have to be prepared and your body's ready for a yeah. tournament. So I say I'm excited about this, but then I'm like, how long will it last before I'm like, uh-oh, I've got to get yeah. to the gym and I do am. something. I can't um, wait to like play hockey and <laughs> And do other things. And, yeah. yeah, I think I'm just ready to do other things. And, yeah. But also give, I want to really like start doing stuff uh, for, for the for players school. and for also just people in Malaysia and hopefully I can something going so yeah. i'm excited for this <laughs> yeah i'm excited too well yeah. cheers to that then. cheers, cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Reminiscing. good luck, yeah, good luck. <laughs>